Hey everybody. Just figured I'd come out, start up my old motor grader that I've had for a few years now. A uh, gentleman gave me this, um, non-working, and basically he said if I, you know, could pull it to my place, I could have it. So I was able to do that, hooking up a chain and um, hooking it up to my tractor and pulling it to the property. Um, it didn't run at the time and it needed a injector pump so I was able to find one it's a old 1952 or 1953 Adams corporation um, it has a 12 foot mold board on it with a scarifier and it also has no hydraulics whatsoever it uses gearboxes and dry shafts and on this machine it has a kind of a unique engine it's a, uh, a UD14A pony start engine that uses a electric starter to turn the motor over and it has one side of it has the carburetor that you see there uh, magneto and spark plugs just like a, you know, just like a car. It's a four-cylinder, and I believe this engine is 600 cubic inch four-cylinder. And on this side, it incorporates the diesel injectors that you see, four of them, and the injector pump for the diesel. So basically you pull the decompression lever which pulls that lever right there and it cuts the compression in the engine down from 16 to 1 down to about 9 to 9 and a half to 1 compression so the gasoline will run without pre-igniting and knocking and what have you so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a battery in it and we're going to start this up. Maybe I can show you how it uh, how it starts up. And yeah, still got a little bit of gas in it. I'm surprised that it didn't all leak out. Just a little bit of gas. kind of cold today so we're gonna um, I'm probably gonna just put the rest of this gasoline in there if I have to I'll let the uh, motor idle this motor is so big that it uh, it will actually probably consume this gasoline just in a oh, short while I guess about 15 minutes or so if it had to run on its own so all we got to do is hook up the battery now. Alright. I have the decompression lever on. It's in the upwards position right now. So it's going to allow the cylinder pressure to drop down about 9.5 to 1. Um, right now I have... It's a 24 volt system. So I have my main battery and my jumper pack in series to help start this pig up. Here's my wire that goes to my external coil that's over there. Without this wire hooked on the 12 volt side, it's um, pretty much not gonna start. So we're gonna go ahead and try to start it. Hopefully it will work. Maybe not. I have to jump it with a wire. Alright. 
right now it's on half scope. Now I'll go ahead and turn the diesel fuel on in the tank. Put the valve on, which is up in here. Cut the choke all the way off right now because it's going to have choke. seconds I'm gonna crack the diesel side of it. I'm gonna hit the throttle a little bit. You'll see right here. And you should see a little bit of white smoke coming out 